Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. We are the Christchurch Schools team. My name is Sophie, this is Megan, and this is Charlie. Now, to begin our assembly today, we are going to have a bit of a quiz. So, if you could look at the picture and tell me, where do you think this bridge is? So that was Tower Bridge in London. Okay, so what about this bridge? Yes, yeah, so that was in Legoland. You see it's made of Lego. And th the third bridge? That was the Winchester Bridge by the railway station. In our story today, we are looking at another bridge. They brought Jesus to a place called Golgotha. Then they nailed him to a cross. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they nailed Jesus to a cross with two criminals, one on his right and the other on his left. People shouted at Jesus, Come on down from the cross and save yourself. Let's see God's chosen one come down from the cross now and then we'll believe in him. At midday, the whole country was covered with darkness, which lasted for three hours. God, my God, why have you abandoned me? The huge curtain that hung in the temple separating the place where God was meant to live from the place where the people could go, was torn in two from top to bottom. This man really was the Son of God. I hate you! I wonder if you've ever had an argument with someone that looked a little bit like that, where you fell out and you ended up not being friends. It can feel like a big gap has opened up between you and the gap can be too big to cross. But at the start of the Bible, there's a story that's quite similar. Because God and people were friends. But sadly, one day, people chose not to be friends with God. And they walked away from him. And because of that, a big gap opened up between them. People couldn't get back to God, no matter how hard they tried. And no matter all the things they tried to do, like be generous and helpful and looking after each other, and all the things they did wrong, like being mean and lying and just not listening to God. People couldn't get back to God, no matter how hard they tried. And because of that, they had this big gap, and Christians call that gap sin. But the Bible says that God loves people and wants to be friends with them again, and doesn't want that gap between them. So when Jesus died on the cross, Christians believed that he bridged the gap between God and people so they could be friends once again. That's why in the temple in our story earlier, the curtain that separated the place where God was meant to live from the place where people could go was torn in two from top to bottom. Just like how Tower Bridge bridges the gap between the two sides of the River Thames, Christians believe that Jesus bridges the gap so God and people can be together once again. Christians believe that Jesus gives people a way for sin to be, to, give, to be forgiven, so God and people can be friends once again like they were at the start. It is now time for us to have a song together. So I am going to run through the actions quickly. Now you might recognise this song because we have definitely done it before, but don't worry if you don't because I'm going to run through the actions. It starts off with he's the king of kings, He's the Lord of Lords. He can heal the sick, grab your tummy ache, you've got a really bad tummy ache. He can heal the sick, he can calm the storm. He's the Son of God who can save us from sin and he calls us to follow him, a bit of marching on the spot. And the first verse goes, Jesus met a man covered in disease. So you're gonna go head, shoulders, knees and toes. You can't see it, but I am definitely touching my toes. Knew he needed to be clean, so give your face a good scrub. So, Jesus met a man covered in disease, knew he needed to be clean. Jesus just touched him, the disease was gone. Only God can do that. Who is this man? 
And then we go back to the chorus, which is he's the King of Kings, he's the Lord of Lords, he can heal the sick, he can calm the storm, he's the Son of God, he can save us from sin, and he calls us to follow him. Verse number two is Jesus and his friends caught in a storm, turned to a boat, caught in a storm, looking like they're going to drown. Jesus yelled, quiet, and the storm was gone. Only God can do that. Who is this man? And then it goes back to, he's the King of Kings, he's the Lord of Lords, he can heal the sick, he can calm the storm, he's the Son of God, he can save us from sin, he calls us to follow him. But it's not going to be that quick when we actually see it. Verse number three is all about the story that we heard today. And it starts off with Jesus on a cross was crucified. Open your arms out wide. And darkness covered all the land. And after three days, hold three fingers up. After three days, Jesus rose again. Only God can do that. Who is this man? And then we go back to he's the king of kings, the lord of lords. He can heal the sick, he can calm the storm. He's the son of God. He can save us from sin and he calls us to follow him. Now, I think you've got the hang of those actions, so let's join in all together singing this song. next to you or give your answers to the teacher and um, it's totally up to you how you want to answer these questions but question number one is what happened to the curtain in the temple when Jesus died on the cross hmm. that's it well done the curtain in the temple tore in two from top to bottom now question number two what do Christians call the gap that separates God from people what is that gap called? Hmm. Christians call that gap sin. Well done if you remembered that from Charlie's talk. Now question number three. What do you think Christians believe we can learn from this story today? Christians believe that Jesus bridges the gap so we can be friends with God again. Well done, you did such a great job of listening to our assembly so far. I am going to say a prayer for us to close our assembly. So if you want to put your hands together and close your eyes so you aren't distracted, and if you agree with my prayer, you can say Amen at the end too. Dear God, thank you so much for everyone at this school. I thank you that today we learn that Christians believe Jesus bridges the gap so we can be friends with you again. 
I pray that you'll bless every member of staff and every student at this school. Amen. Thank you so much for having us today. We will be with you again very soon.